hexagons and triangles are a match made in heaven. If you want to learn how to sew them together and have nice points attaching just like this, keep watching because I'm going to show you how. All right, everyone, you ready to get started on this project? This project, again, is from Dancing Stitches. And what we're doing in this video is I'm going to show you how I cut out the triangles and sew everything together. So there is the right tool for the job. This is called a hex and more, but you can cut out triangles with it. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a line and it's a two and a half triangle. So what you do is you cut your strips out at two and a half and then you line everything up with it there's different marks so you got to make sure you get the right one line it up perfectly with the edges and then uh, you can cut it and you get really beautiful triangles one end has a knot point so a blunt end and the other one does but look how perfect they are and that's easy you can also use the template but I just found this a little bit easier and then what you do is you just keep going so you make a set it up line it up make a cut and then flip it over again and you would do the next one and so on and so forth so it goes pretty quickly when you're doing it this way you know the right tool for the job you know like I said the template works perfectly so once you get a whole bunch cut out make a couple of piles and we are going to head on over to the embroidery slash sewing machine and what we're going to do is we're going to be sewing on the triangles to one part right there that's all you have to sew of the hexagon so the first thing you need to do put your machine you're into sewing mode so you go to the home button put it in mode and we have to take off our embroidery foot so that's what I'm doing here with the handy tool very carefully put it someplace safe and we're going to add in the uh, edge foot so a quarter inch foot it's called which is super handy so I got out my toolbox which is neat I had to dig around in the top one to find the correct foot that I want but it's just really helpful so you can uh, do a quarter inch um, seam on anything I use it all the time it's fantastic so we get the foot and then we have to get the shank so that's fine I couldn't fit my my embroidery foot in there I just left it what the heck so I think it's uh O, it might be the O foot. They're all labeled properly, but I don't know. I have a couple of them, so it's handy. And this is just for a single stitch. So there's the shank right there, and you just push it on. And then we're going to take it back to the machine and we're going to install it. But remember, it's only a single stitch. You can't do any zigzags or anything like that. So there's the part that we're going to hook up and um, hand tighten it and then very carefully you are going to tighten it with the tool don't over tighten and make sure when you pick your stitch you need to make sure that you pick the single stitch in the middle don't sew anything until you do that because with this foot there's only one hole in the middle and you'll break your needle if you do it otherwise so this foot is going to make a big difference and it's a lot of fun to sew these so right now i am putting my machine into the sewing mode and the arm will move far far away and uh, you can leave the embroidery arm on no problem 
and uh, it's kind of handy kind of makes it like a bad double checking everything I could have used more bobbin thanks bobbin police but that's okay and what I do for me and a lot of quilters do it this way or sewers or whatever uh, I make little piles uh, because I have enough room on my machine it's kind of handy so I'm gonna sew them all in one group and it makes it a whole lot easier now you can sit there and pin them no problem I don't use pins all the time for something like this I can line everything up and then just sew it with the foot so if you look at the foot it's a little bit hard to see but there is an edge on it and you simply line that edge up with the edge of the fabric and then stitch very carefully stitch keep everything together and stitch and you will have a perfect quarter inch seam and you don't have to worry about it you don't have to you know keep with any lines or anything so that's the first one now we're going to go to the second one and always it is right sides together and it doesn't matter which part of the hexagon that you pick it's all the same now I'm flipping it over just to show you guys that it can be easier flipped over because you can see the hexagon line if you look there the triangle has a little bit of edges sticking out there so if it makes it easier remember too this is beginner sewing I'm not a sewing professional I'm not too bad at it hopefully nobody's cringing but if you are that would be cool just you know everyone knows different things it's it's fine I do my best and I just want you guys to be able to do this because quilting on the embroidery machine is coming up soon too and that is a lot of fun so I'm going to stitch it right side up because I can uh, watch your fingers remember I have long nails so I can kind of you know be careful without looking like I'm being careful so all you have to do is keep stitching like that there's enough um, there's enough of the hexagons to be able to keep going so it's easy because um, you just to stitch them and leave a little space in between and push it through and then go on to the next go on to the next and then after that we're going to do the other side so I am also trying to pick a dark one and a light one and a dark one it'll just make it a little bit easier for next time so I'm going to go a little faster you just keep going sometimes if you're making a really large quilt you have it hanging all the way down onto the floor it just makes it faster because you don't have to trim you know every time and move stuff out of the way so this is a good way of doing it I quite like it so just matching up and making sure everything's nice and straight and even uh, like I said you can pin if you want I don't for small things so I finished what I'm gonna do for that row and you see everything's nicely together I like it and then you just trim in between make another pile it's all about organization maybe it looks kind of like a disaster but that's okay so just separate all the ones that you did it's easy I do know they make a tool for this but I don't have any places to put any more tools just to make it faster I'm okay with you using scissors so the first one is done properly so one side and then the other that's what we're doing in this one so it has to be the side directly across now again remember right sides together line everything up you could sit and watch TV and line everything up and pin a whole bunch of them say if you're making something a lot bigger just pin everything and then you're ready to take it to your machine now I'm looking to try to make sure the triangle angles are you know kind of matching up in the middle it's not all that important but it just makes me feel better that I do so guess what we're gonna do we're gonna stitch in that straight line using the quarter inch foot which is uh, wonderful and we're just gonna keep going 
and I'm going to do the same things for each of them. Super handy, super easy to do. So step one is pretty much the same as step two. Just make sure you sew them in the correct way so they have to be opposite each other so it's not hard so far i can do it the only part you guys might have trouble with are the dog ears of the triangles uh sticking out but you can trim those down if it makes it more difficult just use a ruler for sure and uh, you can do that i know some people say you're not supposed to clip triangles but heh do whatever makes it work better for you. No one's going to see. I find it a lot easier, but I was trying to stick to the pa the the pattern, which is awesome. So dancing stitches. This is a wonderful project. The majority of it is done for you. Uh, all the hexagons are already cut out, so I'll put up the website. There'll be a link to it. Once you get all those done, go back to your desk and... I'm going to, again, cut these all apart. And as much as I dislike ironing, it's a pretty important part of sewing quilt blocks. And you pretty much have to do it. Uh, unless you're like a super pro and you can line everything up and sew in a straight line, then well, whatever way works for you. I'm not that good. So I do have my little Cricut craft iron. This would work even better if you had steam, but I just didn't feel like getting Mr. Stark out. So the little one works just fine. So I set the seam. So I just kind of quickly iron it right there and then I open it up and there you go and make sure it's nice and flat and perfect and it really makes a difference but you can really see the dog ears there so if they don't bother you they don't bother you so again this is what we're going to do for each one on both sides set the seam iron it down if you have steam use the steam it makes a difference i'm okay with this i just do a little bit extra plus this little iron from cricut the mini iron it heats up so quickly i just i quite often grab it it's wonderful and it has an automatic shut off too so keep going through all of them so the next step that we're going to be doing as soon as i'm done all my ironing um like I said, I kind of dislike ironing, but it really makes a difference. So just do it anyways. Put some music on. I think on this one I'm watching uh, Star Trek while I'm doing all this stuff. So now, okay, we are going to sew the units together. So a triangle, a hexagon, and a triangle is one unit. And I set the first unit the way I want it and then set the second one up right sides together so you're going to flip it and then what you want to do is make sure that the seams meet from one to another now this one i don't always pin for but i am going to do it for this because i had some that didn't match up perfectly so i thought pinning would be a whole lot easier so once you get them laid down because it's really easy to mix them up and sew them the wrong way i i do it for everyone i lay it out and i lay the one beside it and then i can grab it and sew it and i don't have to worry about it or pin it in this case of course so i'm making sure all my seams match just putting a couple of pins in it it's no problem at all and uh, then i'm just gonna start another pile so this will give us two hexagons so we're only counting hexagons in this one we're not worrying about the triangle so lay it so it's straight at the bottom and then lay the other one beside it so i'm looking for a lighter color on this one just to make it look better i'm i'm sewing together a light unit plus a dark unit so i lay them together make sure i've got it done correctly and then flip it over 
and then I know I'm doing it right when I take it to the machine. It may seem kind of like a waste of time, but I can't always picture it. I have to lay it out exactly as I've been told to. I don't know. They can get kind of complicated. This wasn't, this one wasn't too bad. Make sure your seams match and make sure everything fits together. Take your time on this part. Again, I'm probably watching TV. I quite enjoy sewing with the, I guess it's not TV, but my iPad, just so I have something to listen to and I can really focus on what I'm doing. So you guessed it, we gotta do the whole pile like that. So lay it out, put it together, make sure it looks good. Turn it over, right sides together, which is so important, and make sure everything matches up. This is your time to match everything and make it look good if you take your time in doing it. Now I do realize I have two dark ones there, but that's okay. I, uh, I have a whole other pile of ones that I've already sewn together. So we're gonna be making three strips. And again, we're counting the hexagons. That's the important thing. So I think it's nine. The middle one is gonna be 11. And then the other one is gonna be nine. So we just keep building it up, the, the hexagons and the triangles. And then we're gonna, the next step will be that we're adding, so this is a new unit and we're gonna be adding another new unit to it and you just keep going. So once you get the rhythm of it, how you wanna do it, um, that looks good and everything matches, then you just keep going and going. So here I am, super fast motion, making sure everything lines up again, quickly sewing it and making it look good. Now you can see the dog ears kind of sticking out now if they bother you again it's kind of you got to remember to go on the hexagon and ignore the dog ears but if they do bother you take a ruler and you can very very carefully cut them off so everything is in a nice straight line but be careful doing it so if you have a nice straight line there you go so we're going to go back to the desk again now we have bigger units we have less of them but we have bigger units so i'm going to do the exact same thing that we did with the smaller units so i am going to set the seam so iron it while it's still closed um, again heat or sorry uh, steam will help with that open it up and make sure it's nice and flat and it's going to sit properly and then iron it down and uh, before you sew the three rows together, you can take a ruler and, uh, you know, make it neater. Just be careful not to cut into the hexagons. But your goal is to have a nice point. Uh, the triangles, the two points um, connecting beautifully that's then you know you've done it right and because we're only doing it in small units if you make a mistake it's really easy to pick it out I mean it's it's a five minute look how perfect that one was oh I love it they don't all turn out perfectly but just pick it out and start again nice straight lines on that one I love it so now you guessed it we're gonna attach two of the new units and same thing, set it how you want and then you can you know, match everything if you wanna set it out, um, which is fine. And then fold it over, right sides together, make sure you get it going the right way, pin it and then take it to your machine. I did that already and iron it and open it up and look how great it goes pretty quickly you guys will be quite surprised how quick it goes but i'm really happy with that my hexagons still look like hexagons and my triangles are pretty good they're not perfect some of them are some of them aren't but i try not to be too hard on myself so keep going until you have more 
and then you're gonna sew them together and then in the next video I'm gonna use my clear blue tiles and quilt the whole thing and it's gorgeous <laughs>